to find our car. I am hot. Perfect fit. I'm gonna take off my jacket though. I'm already roasting. Taking off my socks. <laughs> Wear socks on the plane with my Birkenstocks. We have a cable charger for the car. I have tons of cables. You have tons of cables? Yeah. I brought Give me one. Let me see. Let's see. see. My hair. What do you need, kind sir? I literally have a bag full of cords and camera accessories. You're welcome. <laughs> This is a nice car. I like the interior. Just got in. Yee! I'm so excited to be in Palm Springs. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our Airbnb. We decided to stay in an Airbnb and it's in like a cute little lodge condo and it has like a pool and like all that sort of stuff so we're really excited for like this cute little place and as you'll see it's like very bohemian it's really adorable Quan's working on some paperwork so i figured i'll just give you a tour really fast while he's doing that so i'm standing at the front door right now so when you walk in there's like a cute little dining room table that juan's sitting at and then over to my right is the living room it's actually really cute it's a very like small, like quaint little space, but I really like it. Through this door is the bedroom. So we have our bed right here. There's the mirror. <laughs> uh, the closet is behind here. Um, so that would be nice, lots of storage, more closet space behind here. And then if I turn to the right and walk this way, we're walking into the bathroom. Lots of counter space, which is what we love. Enough room for all my products. The sink is actually really cool. It's like metal i like the mirror and then there's like light coming in above that's really cool and then the shower is over here i love their shower curtain that says get naked and um yeah cute little space and then if i walk back this way there's juan here's the kitchen love the colors in this space and what's so nice about having an airbnb is that we can go get food and get our breakfast and get it all here and so we can just eat that every morning and then also there's like this little patio area which i love let's go out here looks like there's two entrances out to this patio which is really cool it's just like a cute little space to hang out there's some chairs some lights it looks like that we can turn on at night got a little tree that's pretty much it cute then here's the view from the other way <sighs> Happy to be here. Downtown driving, got a Lamborghini in front of us. Oh, look at that. All right, heading out for our first night out, our first dinner. We're going to Taquita, Taquila? Taquila. So excited to start getting out and about though. I literally just threw on some makeup and threw on a quick outfit. I'll show you what my outfit is. It is the Rezzo tank top from Aritzia. Just have a Goldie jean shorts. I have on some like black like slides that are a little bit nicer, which I like. And then for a bag, I'm just gonna wear my Lululemon belt bag. That's pretty much it. Juan's looking pretty cute. He's looking super cash with his essential shorts on and his Birkenstocks. Hey. Okay, it's blurry. Let's go, let's go out to dinner. It's already super late. It's like after eight right now. What? Let's go.
beautiful day in the desert and I am permanently sweaty. <laughs> so far today, you would have seen that we spent the morning at the pool, starting to get a little bit of a tan, which was really nice. And then Argentina was playing Italy. So Juan went back and was watching that game. I stayed by the pool a little bit longer and like was reading and stuff like that. So relaxing, so amazing, just what I needed. But now it's a little bit later, it's two o'clock and we're heading out for lunch right now. We're gonna go to Sherman Cafe. Uh, daily and something. Sherman Deli and Cafe, I think is what it is. We had it, it was a recommendation from one of Juan's coworkers um, and they have like really good sandwiches and stuff. It looks pretty casual, it looks right up our alley for at least lunchtime. Um, and then we're gonna have try to have like an early dinner too. And then I think we're gonna try to like walk around downtown a little bit. And oh, for the restaurant last night, it's tequila is the name of it. We were trying to like I mean, it's try different, something. Different, yeah. yeah, we went, when we got there and she's like, oh, thanks for coming to tequila. We're like, oh, that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> so funny but it was really fun last night walking around downtown at nighttime so I definitely want to go during the day I have on like a little bit of a cover-up to protect my shoulders from getting like just completely roasted other than that I feel like my outfit is pretty cute too okay let's go to lunch I'm starving Airbnb fruit wonders if you guys come here so good they have so many options I actually really want to try their acai bowls too so maybe we'll go back tomorrow or the next day and try them so thirsty though we're gonna chill inside for a second to like try to get a break from this heat but Juan you wanted to go to the pool yeah you do for how long I think the thing is, it's 4.17 right now. I don't even know how hungry I'm gonna be for dinner. Where are we, what are we gonna do for dinner? Have something light? I think the main thing that I've seen is that a lot of places close at like 8, 9 p.m. There's a few that are still open till 10, but as you guys know, with Juan and I, we don't usually eat dinner until after eight, sometimes leaning towards nine, I know. It's really, really late. <laughs> So for us, it's a little challenging because we have lunch really late, like today, 2, 2.30. And then with the heat, you know, you're not really hungry at all. So it kind of just like adds to it. We're gonna try to watch the last five minutes of a Stranger Things episode. We were watching it when we were on the plane. Oh, oh you need my password. Haha. <laughs> Oh, babe, I don't know what this password is. Babe, it worked! Here. This whole place is turning into a mess. Like, I'm legit just living out of my suitcase. There's no dressers. And most of my things would belong on the dresser. Hmm. And then my makeup stand is like right here on the dining room table. I have a little mirror, which is like perfection. This place has zero light at night, so at night we literally cannot film in this place. <laughs> the best lighting comes from the kitchen and that's about it. You should see, actually, I should actually show you guys tonight, the lighting in the bathroom, right? It's like a joke. It's so dark. <laughs> like, taking a shower at night is completely out of the question. It's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, we're gonna watch this and then head to the pool. <laughs> Getting ready for dinner to head out right now, but I wanted to step outside to show you guys my outfit because it's really dark in there. It's kind of identical to last night. I don't know, I'm just trying to get some use out of these jeans, I guess. But I have on a Skins bodysuit, my Goldie jeans again, and then my shoes are really cute. They're like some little kitten heels and stuff. I really, really like them. Let's go get my purse and head on out. I'll tell you where we're going. Ah, beautiful outside. So got all my stuff. I got a spare shoes just in case. 
you never know i don't wear this sort of shoes all that often but we are going to burba it's like a pizza place is it just a pizza place it's like an italian italian restaurant yeah i'm really excited for it let's get in the car Can I plug mine in? Oh, you need it for Apple Play. My battery is pretty low. It's low to me. I'm gonna be taking pictures and videos. I need all the battery I can get. Why isn't it charging though? Oh, there it is. What? What? <laughs> I'm really excited for our day tomorrow. Should we tell them about it? Um. Yeah. We're going to farm. We're, this is all an attempt. This is our plan so far. So let's see if it actually comes to fruition, right? Um, we're gonna go to farm for brunch. It looks so good. They have like dessert crepes and brioche style um, French toast and all these delicious things. This is a good car, like a good dash for a camera. My car is not like this at all. This is like a good smooth one. I mean, it's a little rocky. Oh. We're still going strong. Okay, and then the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the tram. I don't know the official name for it. Ball Springs Tram. Yeah, I'll put it on the screen, but otherwise, there's like restaurants at the top of it. I'm hoping it's a nice view. There's hikes and stuff. So I think I'm, we're gonna wear like active clothes to go there just in case we wanna do hikes and wear like our hiking shoes and stuff. But yeah, I feel like that's gonna be like a full eventful day. Brunch, come back, get ready, go to the tram and then come back and see how tired we are and see if we're up for dinner or not. Or the food. Or the pool, oh, or the pool, and do like maybe take out or something instead of going out to dinner. That could be an option, right? But this place is so freaking cute, and there's this restaurant right here that I really want to check out. We need to check it out, babe. It's right here. It looks so cute. It's called Mira, I believe. Mira's? Miro's restaurant. I'm actually really impressed with a lot of the restaurants here so far like they all look so delicious and our experience everywhere we've gone has been just so good yeah. would you say i mean we've only been like a day in too we have so many days left i'm so excited i mean tonight looks pretty good too. yes so let's cross our fingers it's as good as it looks so we'll see you there <laughs> i'll stop talking <laughs> Stole my seat. It has a better view. <laughs> Do you need to cheers me or what? I don't have that drink. Okay. Can we still cheers? <laughs> Yum. I got a French toast and then Juan got an omelette and this looks incredible.
had brunch at farm, which is pretty tasty. No? Did you like your omelet? He got an yeah, omelet. I tried to say it in there, but there was like French music playing, so it was kind of like loud. And then I ended up getting like this delicious French toast. It's such a cute place. I highly recommend it. Like they have tons, it's like huge actually. He like went into the bathroom and saw like how big the restaurant part was. But like the garden is so beautiful. I really like it. But now we're just gonna walk around downtown a little bit before trying to head to the tram, maybe go to the pool. We don't know yet. Yeah. We'll see what we do. <laughs> Water feels amazing. This not so much. Oh my god! So this is the tram. I'm so excited. Dave, how terrified are you? Eight. Eight? <laughs> oh my god. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hand, said, let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. I wanna laugh out loud. Juan's trying to call the bird. Do you think they're trained? There's like some really, really pretty blue birds. Do you think they're blue jays? That's the only blue bird I know by name. We'll see if I can get a, a video of it. Get it on camera. By the way, with this elevation, it feels amazing up here. It feels like I'm back in Washington, I gotta be honest. It's like 64 degrees up here. It's breezy, I can breathe. Like it's so nice and there's so much greenery and trees. The only difference is we're seeing a bunch of like little lizards and geckos, <laughs> which is so much fun. There's surprisingly squirrels up here too. Ah, I love this. You love it? Yeah, it's really nice. How was the tram ride for you? Oh, it was fine. I mean, my hands were sweating. But. Yeah, <laughs> what I didn't know about the tram is that the floor rotates. And I go, wait, what? So that was a, a nice surprise, which is actually, it works out and that's nice because then everybody gets a view of everything, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like in my element right now. Like this feels so nice. Yeah. Love this. It's like an early summer Seattle hike. Yes, it is. It's getting us kicked off and weirdly enough in Palm Springs. Like we wanted to do hiking in Palm Springs, but I really, I mean, you'd have to go like early, early in the morning or like late at night because I didn't want to die <laughs> with the 100 degree heat. And I feel like this is a nice middle ground. Which way do you want to go? Nature trail or desert view trail? Okay, what do we do? Here. We'll do them all, we'll do them both. I think the only one that we're not doing is, what's it called? I am the worst at names, you guys, of like remembering like the names of some of this stuff. I'll put it on the screen, but it's like their longest one. I think it's like five and a half or six miles long. I don't think we're doing that one, but we're gonna do like all the small loop ones, which I think pretty much adds up to three and a half miles or something like that. So, yes. Babe, always leading the way. The view is amazing. So happy. There's people all the way up here. Like, no, not 
doing it at all. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Babe, this is amazing. Oh, he's taking a selfie. Next notch, notch four, I think out of five. Let's see the view on this one. Oh wow, how is it? Oh yeah, sun's starting to set too, it's so pretty. Last notch, let's see how the view on this one is. You can go down there and get on that rock and maybe have a better view. Are you doing it? Mm -hmm. Here we go, on top of the rock. I have to say that notch three is probably the best. Yeah, one and two were good. One or two were good. Three, three was amazing. Four was okay. Mm. Five is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> three is so good. And we were there at like the perfect spot. Like you can see that the sun is starting to set a little bit too. <sighs> you want to complete the loop? Yeah. Let's go. Hey babes, miss me? I did a vlog at all today. It was a very slow day, I guess. What we ended up doing this morning, we actually went down to Palm Desert. You guys, I cannot believe this. I forgot my computer charger. So there's an Apple store there. So I bought the cable, um, cause Juan brought his laptop and I could plug the cable into like the charger thing, but we have different style laptops. So I couldn't even believe that. So I needed to go do that. And then while we were down there, we ended up having brunch down there. It was really nice. It was really obviously hot today. So we were planning on like walking around just the outdoor mall area. It's like a massive, there's so many stores and stuff, but we just kind of decided against it. We're not like huge shoppers in other places because we pretty much have all of those stores back home too. We'd rather just experience different things if that makes sense if it was indoor like an indoor mall that would be a different story because it's like so much hc and i would want to drink that up but when we came back i ended up starting to edit this vlog and just editing a bunch of footage and content and stuff like that just to get a little bit caught up or respond back to send emails too and then we were watching obi-wan kenobi the new series on disney plus too so you got a super chill day but we are finally going out to dinner Right now, I want to share with you guys my outfit before I head out. I am so obsessed with it. The problem is the lighting in here. Oh, you guys, it's terrible. Okay, can you see me? <laughs> okay, so this is an outfit from Aritzia. I love the matching colors. I did not plan this intentionally. Like this was not one of the outfits that I planned out, but it just kind of like worked out. This is the matte opal color which i like and this top is their sculpt knit collection and it has like this little crisscross front which is really cute and then these pants i just picked up like the day before we left these are their new pleated trousers which i really like because they're a little bit looser and it's a little bit wider leg too so super cute and then the shoes are just like some heeled sandals they look like this brown color yeah, love them. So we're about to head out to Miro's. Should be tasty. Of course, I'll bring them along, so let's go. <laughs> Do you want me to share with them our thoughts on the place? 
long story short, we thought it was going to be better than it actually was. The food was meh. It was okay. It could have been better, that's for sure. I think out of all the places that we've eaten at so far, that's our least favorite. Is it your least favorite? Yeah. This is just our opinion on these. But if you come to Palm Springs and you're looking for like a nice restaurant to eat at, we don't recommend that place. <laughs> Try somewhere else. <laughs> I'm blurry? Am I blurry? Am I blurry? Yeah. And also, never gave an update on our tram ride yesterday. Which, by the way, 10 out of 10 experience. What? The tram. Oh yeah. 10 out of 10 experience. It was, I think, by far like my favorite thing that we've done here. And when you get up there, wasn't the elevation like 11,000 feet or something? 8,000. 8? Oh, it's a really high elevation. And you guys, it's like legit another world up there. Kind of like I was saying, like the weather very much reminds me of Seattle. It was like 64 degrees, super chilly, like you could breathe. It felt so nice and the hike was like incredible. Like I just wasn't expecting anything like that to be in Palm Springs. So uh, it was a, a very nice surprise. That's for sure. And the sun was setting when we were doing it too. Oh, so pretty. My legs are a little sore today too. I think that's like my top thing that I would recommend so far. To do here. Do you see Juan just sitting back there? <laughs> Anything to add for the tram? That's true. So I guess the tram in the morning and stuff, and even like when we were going up, the trams going back down were like full of people. So we actually went 4:35. Yeah, our tram was 440. 440. Yeah, our tram was 440. Perfect timing. There was literally, us included, six people on the tram going up. The tram down was a little bit more busy, but like on the mountain, there was nobody there. It was honestly the perfect time to go. And then it was cooler, and you got to experience a little bit of the sun setting too. So definitely recommend a little bit later on in the afternoon than earlier in the day. I can see you, babe. So anyways, that's that. That's what I recommend. Now we're here. We decided to come here because this is the coolest night since we've been here. Cool, okay. Yeah, I saw the little thing that you turned. Uh-huh, yeah. How long did it, does it last for, do you know? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Woo hoo hoo, now we're talking. This one right here is probably supposed to be like a little bit cooler than that one over there, so the other one's supposed to be hotter. So. Oh, wow. Oh. But this one's nicer because, you know, you can set here longer. Yeah. Yeah, this feels perfect temperature. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> Nice babe, it's not that hot. So you think you want to go for brunch around 12.31? If the brunch ends at 2, I want to make sure it's not like as bad to get there. Make sure they have opening.
day, another dinner. <laughs> so we are gonna try to go to Rooster and the Pig. They don't take reservations or anything like that. Um, it's almost, is it really 7.30? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's good. <laughs> they close at nine, but we should be good. Today has been another really chill day. We just spent the day at the pool. We watched more Obi-Wan and that's about it really. I feel like we're coming towards the end of our trip and things are kind of just getting a little bit repetitive. I'll bring you guys into Rooster and the Pig, of course, just so you guys can see like the food and all that sort of stuff. If, if uh, you're looking for recommendations and such for Palm Springs, oh, this is like a big bachelorette party. There's so many bachelorette parties this weekend. It's crazy. I think that people just come into town like for the weekend only because like the week days were pretty empty but anyways i'll bring you in i'll show you the food and let's just cross our fingers it's good we've heard good things about it it was recommended to us so i'm excited Like today is the first day that I've started to really feel tan. No. <sighs> Yay! Let's hang my towels outside so that they can dry. There's some hooks out here. Another Argentina game. Who are they even playing? I've never even asked. Who are they playing? Estonia? Estonia. Estonia. Oh, they went in? Finished. Five. Shut up. Argentina got five? Five goals from Messi. All from Messi? Damn. Five zero. Game just ended. I came back so that we can have lunch. It is almost one o'clock right now, but I was still reading this book by the pool and you guys, I am so captivated by it. It is so good. I am more than halfway through right now. I'm on page 208, but I think there's like 373 pages. So I'm almost done. This was definitely a good book to read by the pool. I've been really enjoying it and I looked it up and she's actually coming out with a second book to this So now it's gonna be a series that book is gonna launch like in October or something like that But I'm really excited for it when I posted this on my Instagram stories I had so many of you guys DM me like just saying oh my god I can't believe you're reading that book. It's so good, which is just really really funny So I'm sure you guys are looking forward to the second book too no? and then I've also been adding more of her books to my Amazon carts to read like once I'm finished with this, what of like her other books do you guys love the most? Let me know down below because I'm definitely looking to order more. I think there was a new book that just came out this year that I was thinking I was gonna get. But anyways, let me know what your guys' recommendations are. And then for lunch, yeah, this is so ridiculous. We ended up picking up um, salads from Birba yesterday night. So the thing with Bur Birba, I want to say Birba. Things with Birba is that it's not open for brunch anymore. On their website it said it was, and we were gonna go there yesterday for brunch. But it was closed and their brunch, I guess, ended for the season, which is weird to me because I feel like the season's just starting now, like summer and having brunch and stuff. Other than that, they're only open for dinner, which is from like five to 10. And I just like love their salad so much that I just, I needed it. And they're closed on Mondays too. So we ended up actually just going there and ordering it for pickup to have for lunch today. 
the one I ended up getting. It's the pizza parlor chop. Oh, it's divine. It's just like a bunch of different meats on here. There is like some peppers, cheese, tomatoes, all over romaine. It is the most delicious salad I think I've ever, ever had. I'm like really sad to like leave Palm Springs and not have this salad like next to me at home, you know? Juan ended up getting a different type of salad that we haven't tried before, but it's called the tricolor. It has three different types of greens, I think, and a bunch of like cheese and stuff too. So we're about to sit down and have this. Oh, I got just got a whiff of this. This smells really delicious too. And then we have kombucha in the refrigerator too. Good old pineapple. You guys know it's my favorite. I'm gonna have this. Mm, I love these like little glasses too. They're like thin. How'd you get this off? Slowly. Look at this. Turning it over. Yeah. Oh, but not all the lettuce is on top. That's fine. Yeah, they don't have like big bowls here or anything. We need to give them the link to my salad bowls from Amazon. <laughs> what do you want to do today, babe? Have lunch. Eat gelato. Mm. Okay. A gelato day? Yeah. Then... Pool. Pool again? Then... River is playing later. What time is River playing? I think at five. Okay. Then we get ready and we go for dinner. Okay. Another dinner. I'm so excited for this one. We're going to a tapas place, but it's also a speakeasy. It's gonna be so much fun. We got it um, as a recommendation from a waiter at tequila actually she was really fun really cool so yeah i thought that this would be really fun it's called del rey but i'm just putting on my earrings i'm gonna wear these bad boys from miranda fry and then i just got dressed as well let's try to get out of this terrible lighting i'll put my sandals on and we can go outside <laughs> here we have it so much better right okay so my outfit for tonight is this top that i got from aritzia I really like it. It's kind of a crop number and has like little details throughout that I thought was really, really pretty. And then I have on some trouser shorts, the same. I don't think I even showed it actually, but they are the brown ones. I had the black ones and I wore those the other day. Love these. These are the pleated shorts and then I just have on some white sandals to match. We're actually just going to walk to the restaurant because it's really close it's like less than five minutes away we need to leave right now our reservations at eight and i think that's in like 15 minutes so yeah good timing i'll take you along of course but i think after this i'm gonna go ahead and just end off the vlog here our week in palm springs we have one more day left but i want to spend it like not worrying about vlogging for at least one day of the trip <laughs> So I made it be the last day. I don't think anything exciting is going on. We have been discussing going to Joshua Tree National Park. Um, don't know if that's actually going to happen or if we're just going to like hang at the pool and spend another day having lunch and gelato and just eating a ton, kind of like a, how it has been like this whole trip. But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed spending a week in Palm Springs with me. It was so much fun to vlog this whole trip just so that I can have the memories as well. It's so much fun to look back on this. I'm also going to create like some reels over on Instagram too to remember the experience and our time here which will be going up the day after or right around the same time that this vlog is going up so if you guys aren't following me on instagram please make sure that you are my instagram is listed down in the description but it's just at i am carissa renee we have so many other fun such fun trips coming up so stay tuned for more just summer travels and vacations and yeah i'm really looking forward to the summertime because seattle doesn't have a summer at all so 
gotta peace on out of there and travel around and visit all these other places which by the way has just been so much fun to finally start to travel again as well but anyways let's head to dinner bring you along and thank you guys so much again love you so very much Mwah. bye guys my babe with the hat <laughs> Like whiskey, but I taste like all the smoke. Yeah. It's weird. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm.